Uganda presently relies on Netherlands for weather data and government wants this state of affairs to change. You know that we are spending a lot in getting the meteorological data. We are spending a lot in putting masks everywhere. It has risk, it has biological consequences on the well-being of people. But when you come and you launch satellites, everybody can get. You cannot say, now I cannot pick a uh, network. And to ease the reliance on foreign countries for some space-related services, Uganda plans to orbit its own satellite in space, a step already achieved by Egypt, South Africa, Morocco, Ghana, Nigeria, Algeria and Kenya. Government is determined to invest into this multi-billion shilling space program with support from Japan, Russia, Israel and Egypt. We are spending about, I think, to a tune of 200 million per year. That is training. And then when it comes, we are going to launch in phases. Like I mentioned, we are going to start with the basic on the satellite. And as time goes and we build capacity, then we go to advanced areas of the space program. The satellite is expected to also support agriculture, communication and military services in the country. In defense, we are looking at the basic issues of monitoring the borders, you know, looking at the movements of people, looking at the assemblies. The director of technopreneurship at the Ministry of Science and Technology elaborated on the space program on the sidelines of the public dialogue to mark World Science Day held at Makere University. Other programs were highlighted, including the establishment of an incubation center at Namamve Industrial Center to offer a platform for scientists. We intend to ensure that we work with the Ministry of Education to have more incubators in the universities where there will be common user facilities but also mentoring. Jackson Onyango, NTV.